you find yourself having to sniff your milk after leaving the refrigerator door open all night, make sure you stick around for this video. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic. This is a relatively cheap project and you only be needing a few things, including a limit switch and uh, a 5 volt buzzer can be picked up online for really cheap. A 10 kilo ohm resistor, this will be serving as a pull down resistor. Some jumper wires, I've also be using two wires with alligator clips on the back and a Arduino Uno. The wiring of the refrigerator alarm is relatively simple. Um, add a red jumper wire to the 5 volt output of the Arduino and then attach that to pin number 1 of the switch using a alligator clip. Wind one end of a 10 kilo ohm resistor to a red jumper wire, then attach that to a wire using an alligator clip. Connect the other end of the resistor to a ground on the Arduino board and connect the red jumper to pin number two. Connect the other end of the alligator clip to pin number 3 on switch. Connect a yellow jumper wire to the positive terminal of the buzzer and a blue jumper wire to the negative. To finish off the wiring, connect the yellow coming from the buzzer to pin number 7 of the Arduino and connect the blue to a ground. The code to the refrigerator alarm is pretty simple. We're using the Millie's function um, and uh, essentially we've assigned um, two unsigned long variables. Um, first one is weight, which I've set to 30,000 milliseconds or 30 seconds. And the second one is unsigned long door open. This is essentially the variable that we'll be comparing to the millis function. Um, I've assigned pin 2 to the input and uh, pin 7 to the output, with the input being the switch and 7 um, being the buzzer. Inside the loop, I've essentially set it so when the switch, when the door is open, the alarm sounds for 30 seconds. So that's essentially what this is doing here. And then when you close it, it resets the code. So the delay will be present when you open the door again. And then after that, all you got to do is just uh, upload the sketch to the Arduino. Okay, to mount the alarm, we just come over here. Um, for this particular model, um, it already has an alarm for the freezer side, but not for the refrigerator. So I'm just going to put it on the refrigerator door. So come to the top, and what I've done here is I've hot glued the switch to this top panel, and I've also hot glued in this uh, nut right here. Then I screwed in this... Uh, um, machine screw or bolt and that way I'm able to adjust the screw if I need if I need to based on when the the door opens um, then I hot glued in the buzzer here and I couldn't find my uh, 9 volt relay adapter for the Arduino so I just had to plug it into the wall um, obviously you probably want to use a 9 volt, 9 volt battery to run this thing so you don't plug in an extra thing into the wall but for our purposes I can do a demo uh, just open the door so after waiting 30 seconds 
the our alarm should go off. There we go. And uh, it's set up in such a way where if you were to close the door, the alarm turns off, but if you were to immediately open it back up, there'd be a built-in 30 second delay. So that way you don't hear this annoying alarm every time you close your refrigerator or you open your refrigerator door.